Hello, my amazing first grade artist. My name is Miss Tracy, and this year when you come to art, you are going to be watching some videos I made. And every project you have, I will do a video and show you what to do. You can watch, and your teacher will be there to help you, and we're going to make some awesome artwork. Our first project is going to be this fun sheep. And this is called a mixed media sheep because mixed media means when you use different materials in a piece of artwork, not just the same materials, but different materials. So for this one, we're gonna use paint. We're gonna use tempera paint to paint these pretty colors on the wool of our sheep. We're gonna use oil pastels to make these circles and to color the face and the um, legs of our sheep. And then we're gonna use this textured bumpy paper to make the head and the legs on our sheep. So we're gonna be talking about an artist named Claire Youngs. She is also a mixed media artist. Let me show you Claire Youngs. She is a contemporary artist and that means she's still alive and she still creates these beautiful pieces of artwork. This is a picture of her in her studio. A studio is a room where an artist does all of their artwork and you see she has her table and all of her supplies and examples of some of her art and books that she looks at. And she even has her little dog there to give, keep her company. So Claire lives in a country called England. And so we live in the United States of America. This is our whole world right here. And we live in the United States of America. And if you cross over the Atlantic Ocean, and go up here to England, that is where she lives. So she lives a, a good piece away from us, doesn't she? So let me show you one of her pieces of artwork. That's also a sheep. This one is a mixed media sheep by Claire Youngs. Remember what I told you about mixed media. It's when you use different types of materials. So in this one, she's got all these different kinds of papers that she's put together and she's made these papers. So she will draw and paint these patterns on here. And she looks like she painted the uh, legs or maybe even stamped the legs on. She used some paper from a book or a magazine because I see the words on there. And she put that all together to make this sheep and that's what we're gonna do. And then she wrote, ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? I bet you've heard that nursery rhyme before, haven't you? So be thinking about that when you're making your sheep. And then you're gonna have, you're gonna have two choices on your sheep. This sheep is made using warm colors. And then I have another one that I made using cool colors. So cool colors are colors that make us things, think of things that are warm, I mean cool or cold, like ice and snow and water. So cool colors are colors like your blues and greens and turquoise and purple. So see how that looks very different from our warm colors. Warm colors are colors that make us think of things that are hot or warm, like the sun and fire. So those are colors like yellows and oranges and reds. So you're gonna decide today which colors you wanna use. Do you wanna use warm or cool colors? All right, let's get started making our sheep. We're gonna make the woolly body of our sheep and your teacher's gonna give you a piece of watercolor paper. It's really thick paper. Turn it horizontally. That's with a long side facing you. And we are going to draw this big shape that looks like a cloud, sort of. So in all my videos this year, it's really, you'll see me doing a lot of this. I'm going to take my finger and trace what I'm gonna draw first. And that kind of helps me think in my head how big everything's gonna be and where it's gonna go. So we're gonna make this big body that fills this paper, not a teeny tiny little body, but a big body. So I want you to take your finger first and I want you to make these curvy lines like you're making a cloud, okay? And that gives you an idea. Make it as big as you can make it on that paper. Then I want you to take your pencil. You use a pencil. I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you can see. And I want you to draw that, okay? I'm gonna make these big humps. Don't make them little, because if you make them too little, when you go to cut this out, it's gonna be hard. So make them big all the way around. And then when you connect those lines, you'll have a shape. Now we're gonna cut that out. 
Now, this could be a little difficult because some of you may have not had a lot of practice with scissors, but this will be good practice for you because you need to learn how to use your scissors. So when we use our scissors, it's easiest if you turn the paper instead of turning the scissors. So you turn your paper when you're making those, cutting out those curvy lines. And then when you get a bunch of paper, you can just cut it off if it starts getting in your way and move it out of the way like that. Always keep your other hand that's holding the paper away from the scissors because you don't want to accidentally cut yourself. The scissors are sharp. So you're going to go around all of these lines that you've cut. And you're cutting out a shape. Take your time. You'll probably go a little slower than I will, and that's okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna turn it over and you won't even see those lines anymore. So just do the best you can. Okay, when you get it cut out, I want you, because you might still see some of your lines, I want you, well actually, before you flip it over, on this side where the lines are still showing, I want you to write your name your teacher's name, your school, and your grade. You have four things to write on here, okay? Because we have a lot of art to keep up with and we need to know which one is yours. So write those things on the back. Then you're gonna flip it over. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is make all of these circles that are gonna be on here. And this is going to be a resist. So we're going to use oil pastels to make the circles and then we're gonna paint over those and it's gonna be like magic. Y'all are gonna love this because this is an oil pastel. It's made out of materials that are oily and then the paint is made out of materials that have lots of water in them and oil and water do not mix. So what's gonna happen is all of that paint's gonna run away from that, those white circles that you made. So it's gonna, look, it's gonna be like magic. Y'all are gonna love this. All right, so take your white pastel and I want you to just start making circles on here. Now it's kind of hard to see them. You will barely see it, but if you kind of really look closely, you'll see them. Make some circles that are just regular circles and then make some circles that are inside of circles. Those are called concentric circles because they have the same center. So I'm gonna make some just regular and make some that are concentric and it'll give variety in our artwork. Now see, if you kind of look, if I turn it just right, you might can kind of see my circle showing up. You should sort of be able to see it and if they overlap in some places, it's okay. Make some circles big and make some circles small so you have variety. You don't want everything to look the same. So do that all over, just filling it up. When you're using these white oil pastels, you kind of have to press down hard because you really want to make sure it gets on there. And you want a lot of them because you're going to see this magic happen in a minute and you're going to love it. Okay, I think I just about have enough. I think if I turn that up, can you kind of see? Oh, look, you can see right there. Oh, I see where I missed one up here. So I better go back and put some there. Okay, so now I have all my circles on there with my white oil pastel. And then the next step is your teacher is going to have some of these laid out. These are called tempera cakes. Tempera is a type of paint, and this, these are made into these little hard cakes. And then all you have to do is add water to them and they come alive and they start being like paint. So teachers, I want you to take your trays, I want you to take the white and the uh, black out because we don't want those to get mixed in with our colors. I want you to have a side that has cool colors and then I have a side that has warm colors and then put your violet in the middle. This violet, it's got a lot of warmth to it. It's violet is made from red and blue and this one has a lot of red so it's almost pinkish. So we're gonna let the purple go either way. It can go with the cool colors or it can go with the warm colors. So that's why we're gonna put it in the middle, okay? And then you're gonna decide if you want your 
sheep's body to be cool or warm, okay? So, you're gonna take a brush. I'm using this brush that has hard bristles because that's what works best for this. And I'm going to make a warm colored sheep. So you're going to dip your brush in the water. And let me move it over here so you can see. Let me slide everything over. I'm gonna dip my brush in the water and then I really get it going here on this red, okay? And if you don't have enough water, you can dip it again and get some more. Now here's where the magic's gonna happen. I'm gonna start painting and look what happens. Isn't that cool? So don't paint the whole thing yet. We're gonna mix all these colors together, okay? So I'm gonna go back and wash my brush. Drag your brush around on the bottom of your container. And then I'm gonna go get some orange. Okay, now look. And it's okay if they touch because warm colors, when they mix together, they'll make more pretty warm colors. So it's okay if those touch and run together. All right, I'm gonna wash my brush again, and then I'm gonna get some yellow. You kinda of come up here, and you just do it however you wanna do it. If you wanna make stripes, or um, just however you wanna paint yours. I'm just going in different places. I'm using different warm colors. Remember how I said, your purple can go either way, so I think I'm going to get a little purple and go up here. Try not to mix them too much together because you want to be able to see all your individual colors. And they'll kind of, when they touch each other, they'll kind of blend together and they'll make pretty colors. I think I'll put a little purple down here. Just remember to wash your brush each time in between uses, okay? All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? That's just so magical, I love it. All right, next, we're going to let that dry. So you should have your name on it and your teacher and everything. You're gonna put that on a drying rack. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And when you come back to class, let me take my paper towel and wipe my little surface off. When you come back to class, you're gonna be making the body for it. So for the body, we are going to have this bumpy paper that has lots of texture. Texture is how something feels. So your teacher will give you a piece of this. Feel love it, feel all those bumps, isn't that neat? And so we're going to draw the head and the ears and the legs and then cut those out, okay? So first we're gonna draw the head. Let me show you again what the head of our sheep looks like. It's kind of like a triangle, but with a straight edge. It doesn't come to a point. So I'm going to turn my paper like this horizontally, and I'm going to come over about three fingers. I'm going to put three fingers, and then right there, I'm going to come over, and I'm going to make a diagonal. See how it slants? Line that goes down. And then I'm going to come over some more and do another one and then I'm gonna connect them, okay? See how that shape looks? It kinda looks like a volcano or something. And then under here, I'll make the ears. So the ears are a curvy line that goes that way, and then one that goes that way, and then they connect. Two ears. And then you've got this other paper. We can make these long rectangles for the legs. So you need four of them. Two, three, make them kind of thick, not too thick, but you wanna be able to cut them out good. Okay, then you're going to cut those out. All right, I'm just gonna cut one of them out and show you. So I'm gonna cut the head out. Remember how I told you about cutting and turning the paper? Now I still see my Sharpie lines on there. See my Sharpie lines right there. So I'm gonna turn it over. Then you're gonna decide what color you want your sheep to be. Okay, so sheep can be gray or sheep can be white or sheep can have black wool. So you decide if you want your sheep to be um, gray, black or white. 
I'm gonna do gray this time because I did a black one and a white one. I'm gonna use gray oil pastel and you're just going to very lightly color it. And it's so light that all it does is those little bumpy places pick up the pastel. So you don't have to press down hard and color every piece of it. You want some of that brown showing through. It just creates this little rubbing where some of your color gets picked up, okay? See how I did that? Then you're gonna take your glue stick. And so there's my body that I made last week and you're gonna glue it on here like this. So you're going to take your glue stick, that one's really on there good, and put some glue, just a strip of glue, okay? And you're gonna glue it behind there and rub it down, push it down really good. Then you'll cut out your ears and your legs and do the same thing, okay? And that'll be, that'll be finished. So again, here's my finished one. And remember, I also did a cool color one. Let me show you my cool color one. You'll get to decide how you want yours to look, what colors. I think you're gonna love this project and I can't wait to see what you do. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.